Shattered Seagull Tom Trebojevic has spoken for the first time of his devastation at suffering a season-ending shoulder injury. Turbo had surgery to repair the damage today and knows the road back to full fitness will be long and difficult. It's the moment no league fan wanted to see the game's best player in obvious distress. Did you know straight away, did you think, OK, this is pretty bad? Uh, I didn't, yeah, it didn't feel right. Um, I didn't really know. I kind of thought it popped out, but I wasn't sure because I'd never done it before. Um, but the doc said as soon as he's seen it, you could kind of tell. What really hurt, the ball was out of play due to a knock on. When I found that out, that really hurt me. Um, yeah. It was a knock on. It was a dead ball, so. Um, yeah, but what do you do? Tommy went under the knife today, taking the Nathan Cleary course of rehabilitation and playing was never an option. There's a lot of ball and socket joint and um, like part of the socket, like the glenoid stops if so of dislocating. Sometimes when you dislocate it, it takes that bone. So now it's, if you try and re-up and keep playing, there's no bone there stopping it from dislocating, so it'll dislocate easier. Mate, when you do things, you do them properly, don't you? Yeah, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one good thing about me. <laughs> the road back is long and Turbo admits the distant finish line is going to test him. How much does it challenge you mentally, Tom? Uh, yeah, it will be mentally challenging in the fact that um, I think just um, there's no real, um, like, I've got so much time and there's no real um, goal of when I can play again. It's kind of just next year. So um, it is a bit mentally challenging, but... Um, you know, I like to think, I guess I'm a mentally strong person. One thing is certain, he isn't a fan of the theory. His injuries mean he should return as a centre, not a fullback. It doesn't really resonate with me. I'm happy playing fullback and um, I guess that's where I'll be next year. Danny Widler, Nine News. The Broncos have been stunned today with powerhouse forward Payne Haas demanding he be allowed to leave the club immediately. Haas wanted an upgraded contract worth $1 million a year, which the Broncos refused. The club has rejected his request for a release. Haas is said to line up for Brisbane against the Titans tomorrow night. Now, his decision not only affects the Broncos, he is expected to be named for the Blues on Sunday evening. New South Wales coach Brad Fittler joins us now from Nine's NRL studio. Evening, Brad. Good evening, James. You've always maintained you want players in your squad to be drama-free. Does this put Payne's spots in the blue side in jeopardy? Oh, well, I spoke to Payne before, and uh, he said that he's in a good mindset at the moment. Uh, his focus is the Titans this weekend. So at the moment, I'm happy with that, mate. But do you find it hard to believe that this sort of discussion is happening in the middle of a season with two and a half years to go on a contract? Yeah, it's not ideal at all. Um, and I know from Payne's point of view and Brisbane... I'm sure they want to clear this all up and get on with it. They're having a fantastic season and they'd hate for this to hijack it.